Hey guys, welcome back to week two, day one of the Fit for 5K strength training program. Hope your easy weekend run went well. Uh, like always, before starting this workout, spend a few minutes uh, foam rolling, doing any sort of soft tissue work, and then we'll get started. So go ahead and pause here, and I'll see you in the warm up block. All right, so to start today's warm up, I'm gonna use a mini band. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can just get in the same position and follow the same sequence, just minus a mini band. So I'm gonna put this around my ankles and I wanna get into my athletic position. So what that looks like is I'm gonna get my feet a little bit further than hip width apart. And I'm gonna sink down. So I'm gonna get my, keep my hips low and we're just gonna do forward and backward monster walk. So ideally I wanna keep this band tight away from each other so I don't want my ankles starting to come in. So we're driving this band to be tight, staying low. And I'm just gonna walk on my heels as I move forward and then move back. And you don't have to go as short as me, I'm just trying to stay in the frame, but you can take about 20 strides forwards, 20 strides backwards. I'm just gonna get a couple more. Really think about staying low, then pushing through your heel to get yourself back. Let's go one more. And back. Sweet. All right, now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna face this way. We're gonna do some lateral walks. I'm gonna go down and back twice, bent knee, and then down and back twice, straight leg. So I'm getting in that exact same position. And then if I'm going to the left, I'm really going to push with my right foot to move to the left. And now I'm pushing off that left. So keeping that band tight. That's one. And if you're doing this without a band, just really over exaggerate the movement. Like you're staying low. Think about what muscles you're actually using. Surprisingly works pretty well. All right, so that's two bent knee. Now we're gonna go straight leg. So now I'm completely locked out. It's like a penguin walk. Bring it back. If your legs already feel on fire, totally normal. That's good. That's one. Woo. One more. The more you control it, the more we're waking up all those glutes, quads, abductors, and rest. All right. So I'm going to keep my band on even for this next exercise, except I'm going to move them down around my feet. So they're pretty much on my midfoot. If you don't have a band, you can still totally do this exercise, just bandless. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my back on the floor and this is gonna activate our hip flexors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm lifting my legs up. I'm gonna keep one knee bent at 90. The other one's going straight out. So I'm fighting that bend and then I'm gonna bring that foot back in before I switch sides. So we wanna keep our toes pointed forward no matter what we're doing. And you can relax your head. I'm just talking. We wanna get about five each side. I believe we have one more each side. There goes the light. And rest. All right. Last thing I'm gonna do with the band is I'm just gonna put this around my wrist. Same thing if you don't have a band, just really over exaggerate what you're doing or I'll show you uh, another modified version too. So I'm just sitting on my heels, keeping my chest up. I'm gonna pull this band apart. If you have a lighter resistance band, I would switch to this now if you're having an issue keeping this band further apart than right here. And I'm just gonna point towards the ceiling, lift straight up overhead and down. I wanna get 10 of these. 
two, three, four, five. Keep doing these on your count to get 10 total. This is the modified version. If you guys don't have a band, you're just gonna lay on the floor or up against the wall, keeping your arms straight on the floor or flat on the floor as you push your hands back, sliding your elbows down. Avoiding that big tilt in your back, you've got 10 of those. So you can hit pause here to catch up if you're doing those. Otherwise with the bands, you've probably hit 10 by now. So we can put those to the side. Next thing we're gonna do is five world's greatest stretches each side. So we're getting in our push-up position here, mirroring my left leg next to my left hand, driving that elbow towards my ankle. Then I'm gonna rotate up towards that same side, bring my hand back down. Last step is I'm gonna straighten that knee and then switch sides. If you have enough room, you can just crawl forward into the next side, but I'm just gonna stay in place. That's one. That's four, we got one more each side. And rest. All right, next thing we've got is we're gonna do a single leg knee hug. So what that looks like, I'm gonna get five each side, shifting weight into my uh, left foot. I'm gonna slowly dip down Hug onto my right knee, and then get as tall as I can, and let go. And you can alternate each side just so we're shifting balance, so you get five each side. Getting low, getting tall. Three, two more each side. Ooh. All right. So I'm pulling both my knees on top of each other, pulling them down onto the ground. My head can either have a pillow or be on the ground. And I'm just reaching up and over the side. We're gonna get five each side here. Notice if you're getting a little bit further than last week, or how it feels as you reach across. If it's getting less awkward, or still the same. All right, and switching sides. So you just flip over, knees down on the ground, Open up to the side. And one more. And rest. All right. Let's get eight planks with shoulder taps each side, long lever plank. So now, not letting your hips move side to side, we're holding this push-up position, and I'm slowly just gonna touch my opposite shoulder without shifting my weight. If you feel like you're moving side to side a lot, just make a wider base with your feet, and that will help with stability. Otherwise, five each side, eight each side. I had a spider in my hair. And 
eight. All right. So next thing we're gonna do is some scorpion stretches. So I'm gonna be back in that push-up position. So we're here. You can bend your knees a little bit. What I'm gonna do is lift one foot as high as I can, and then just let it drape over to the side. Pause for a couple seconds and switch. I'm gonna get five each side. really quick. I got one more each side. And rest. All right. So last thing, our little potentiate exercise we're going to do, we're going to do our hip twist. So we've done the fast feet slow hands before. Now we're going to do base to hip rotations. So now you guys are going to be here, tapping both your feet as fast as you can at the same time, pretty much just like this. So the first one we're going to do is just that, as fast as you can. Ready? Go! And rest. Next one we're going to do is I'm going to say a direction and you're going to twist your hips that way. But ideally you want to keep your shoulders facing me or the screen. So we're here. So if I say left, we're just bouncing back, okay? So ideally, we're not jumping here to here, it's all in the hips. All right, so we're gonna start just with our hips, or just with our pogo, and then I'll give you guys a direction. Ready, go. Right, right, left, right, left, left, and rest. All right, so our first block, we're gonna progress our movements a little bit. So last week, we did our single leg death drops. We're gonna go into some jump to stabilizes now, five each side. The second exercise we've got, last week we did cat cows, now we're gonna do bird dogs. And then the third exercise is gonna be our lateral shuffle with stick. Now we're adding weight to it. So I'm gonna use my med ball, this 12 pounder. Again, we're not throwing it, so it could be any household item if you guys don't have a weight. It's just something that we're gonna hold on to. All right, to get started, I'm gonna show you what the jump stick looks like. So you're just gonna get in your base position, jumping with two feet, landing on one, and you're gonna alternate left and right. So this is the example. Jump stick. And remember, if you want that knee to be your stabilizer, you can tap the ground if you need a little help, just so you're not spending a lot of time trying to stabilize just stabilize and go. All right, five each side. And then once you get it, just reset into this position every time. Here we go. And that's five each side, I think. Um, another thing, if you wanna add the intensity, just jump higher. If you need to bring it down a little bit, just get a little bit off the ground and work on bringing yourself down into that squat position. So I'll give you another example. So jump up, stick the landing. That's the goal. So adjust your height as necessary to get the right technique in your landing. So the second exercise we've got is we're going to do some bird dogs. So you're going to be on all fours, hands and knees. What you're going to do, opposite hand and foot are going to push away from each other. So I'm reaching out. So I want to create a straight line from my heels to my hand. So I just got this in the shot. And then you're going to bring it in and touch your knee to your elbow. We're going to get five each side. All right, switching sides. Two, three, four, 
five. All right, third exercise of this block. We've actually got five each side. So now with our shuffle to stick, it's gonna be 10 total, just a couple shuffles. And what this will look like, now that we've got a weight, if you're starting here, you know, shuffle, shuffle, shift the weight here. So what that means is when we stick and the weight comes out to the side, we're putting more pressure on this leg to help yourself from getting pulled over. We don't want the weight to keep going that way, so we gotta use our legs to really add a little bit more resistance to stop this guy from moving. And then again, use your hips to rotate, swing, to get yourself moving back the other direction. So we're gonna do five each side. You can take bigger strides than me. I'm just trying to stay in the screen with my, my limited space. So we're here, loaded up, athletic position. Shuffle, shuffle, switch, shuffle, shuffle, switch, shuffle, shuffle, switch. All right. So that's 10 total. It moves a little bit quicker than usual because you really want to put force uh, between switching directions, pushing off that left or right leg while also uh, like you're throwing the ball back in the other direction. So speed is your friend here as long as you're getting those switches down. So those are the three exercises. We've got four rounds of this. So go ahead and pause here to complete the remaining three rounds and I'll see you in the next block. All right, so for our second block, we've got four rounds, three exercises. Uh, we're gonna switch them up a little bit. We've still got our single leg squats this week, but we're going down to eight repetitions. So this means that we're gonna add a little bit of resistance. I'm using my 12 pound medicine ball. Uh, the second exercise that we've got, instead of our dead bugs, we're now gonna move to a uh, long lever plank with pull throughs. So I'm just gonna use a band to have an object to pull underneath and you guys will see in a second when I give you the example. Um, and then the third exercise we've got is still gonna be our row. Last week I did some uh, pull downs from above. This time I'm gonna do some horizontal rows if you guys don't have a resistance band and you are using some whole, uh, some sort of household object or dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever to do bent rows, uh, you're gonna do the same thing. Uh, but we're moving down to six repetitions at each side. So try to find something a little bit heavier than you used last week. All right, let's get started. So single leg squats. And again, if you guys were using uh, just a chair or anything like that, then you're still gonna stick to that. And another way you can progress that is to just descend a little bit slower, maybe get a two count pause at the bottom and then spring back up. So that's your, uh, that's your intensity increase this week. So I still have my cooler and my med ball, so let's go ahead and get started. And I'm just gonna shift it this way. So I'm just gonna hug this weight to my chest. If you had a barbell or anything, you could put it on your back too. Uh, but otherwise, I'm just gonna hold it out here and get started. each side so now our plank with pull throughs I'm gonna grab my tubing that I've got here I'm just gonna set it on my left side oh we can't see it 
So I'm gonna set up, push up position. The idea again is not let your hips sway side to side. So we really wanna squeeze our stomach to keep ourselves level, squeezing your glutes so our hips aren't moving. And again, if you need more help, you can just move your feet further apart. So I'm gonna reach over, pull this to the other side and switch weight, switch sides. And you're gonna get eight each side. And that's eight each side. So I'm having some trouble getting the camera in the right position to show you what the rows look like, but basically what I've got is my resistance band kind of hooked under a beam. If you have somewhere like a low point that you can anchor your uh, band to, if you're sitting on the ground, that's perfect. Otherwise, if it's mid-level and you can go half kneeling or kneeling, that's great too. So ideally, I'm just gonna stick both my feet flat on the ground. I'm gonna keep my chest up what I'm gonna do is just row back. So I'm keeping my, ooh, this is fun, shoulder next to my side and then slowly let my arm straight. So ideally, I would wanna control the speed of how I let the band go back towards the wall. So you get a little bit of extra strength here, just kind of the eccentric strength as you get your row in, keeping that elbow close to your side and controlling the speed back. So those are the rows. You've got uh, six each side of those guys, four total rounds. Go ahead and pause here. If you're just watching all of these for demos, you've got four. Otherwise you've got three remaining rounds of the three exercises. You've got eight single leg squats each side. You've got eight plank with pull throughs each side. And then you've got six horizontal banded or whatever rows and I'll see you in the last block. All right, welcome to our accessory block. So we've got the three same exercises that we did on day one last week, but now we're uh, decreasing the repetitions. So we're gonna increase the weight if we have some. So last week I used this band, which is pretty light resistance for the 12 reps of our shoulder complex, and that was definitely enough. Uh, this week we're going into uh, 10 reps of everything. So I've got the medium resistance uh, resistance band, and this is actually from Skills. So I highly suggest getting these. Um, I believe the super bands, the ones that are a complete circle are sold out, but these are also pretty handy too. So I'm gonna use these. And then our lunge circuit, we've got six of each direction, uh, six circuits each side. So I'm gonna use my med ball, which is not in frame. And then the last thing we've got is our hollow body hold, which we've increased to 30 seconds from the 20 seconds we did last week. So four rounds, here we go. And here's uh, all the demonstrations. So the shoulder complex, we're gonna start out with 10 repetitions little bit more intensity. Here we go. I'll go to the side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch forward. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten upright rows. One, I'm gonna make the both feet on there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
and 10. We've got some construction going on outside, so I've got my garage shut and it's a hot box in here. So great. All right, so the next exercise we've got is our lunge circuit. Only got six each side, so I'm adding some resistance. If you've got a med ball, uh, the way that I like to hold it is just chest for forward. For a lateral lunge, I bring it out to my side. And then for a reverse lunge, I bring it back here. Otherwise, you can hold it in the center. So that's two. Ooh. Last one. All right, and switch sides. So that is good. All right. Take a second. We've got our 30 second hollow body hold. So 30 second hollow body hold. I'm going to count this on my own. So hopefully I'm pretty close, but we are increasing this 10 seconds from last week. If you don't remember how to get uh, set up, you're going to start hands and legs together. And now just keep your shoulders off the ground and hold. That's halfway. And rest. Whew. So those are all three exercises for this last block. You've got four rounds total, so you can go ahead and hit pause here to get the rest of this block done, and I'll see you in the cool down. All right, so the two cool down stretches that I definitely want to do today, especially after lunges, is just going to be our hamstring stretch. So I'm going to start here. We're going to do hamstrings and quads. So you can either sit completely on your heel, I kind of like to uh, sit on my toe or my heel with my toe on the floor. Uh, heel is down up here and you can just lean into it, sinking your own weight. We'll just hold here about 30 seconds each side. Let's just switch sides. All right. If you want a little bit more, you can, ooh, where's my toe? Point your toe forward and then really pull it back towards you. So you start feeling kind of different parts of the back side of your leg stretching. It's definitely a good one. All right, last one we've got, definitely easy. You can do this standing or laying down. It's gonna be our quad stretch. So I'm just gonna reach out to the side, one leg straight, the other one, we're just gonna pull our heel back towards our butt. To add a little bit more here, you can kick your hand. 
So create some more tension from your foot into your hand. And that's gonna get a little bit more stretch out of this one. Otherwise, getting a pretty good stretch as you breathe and as you get some more time, you pull a little bit more. And switch sides. If you complete a run or this workout and your quads are pretty tight, I'd say don't go uh, so extreme on your stretches. I'd more so do foam rolling. So if you're having some really tight muscle issues, like painful versus just an after workout kind of tight feeling, definitely get some soft tissue going or some ice baths uh, or just ice um, versus statically stretching for a long time uh, and you might get a better recovery out of that. All right, so thanks for completing week two, day one, and I will see you for week two, day two. Bye!